Alrighty, so um, what you're gonna do today is you're annotating the text. Again, you're going to go back to the text for Christmas every day. It should have annotations from Monday and annotations from Tuesday. If you haven't do, done those, you need to go back and do them. Um, but today, when you're reading for the third time, you're gonna, you can do that by the video again. Um, you need to be reading with intentionally to be finding a passage that shows how the setting affected the characters. And where, when you find that, you're going to write S-A-C, setting affects the characters, and maybe put a big box around it. Um, when you find a hyperbole, you're going to put a big H next to it, and then you might want to explain it with words. Um, imagery is something that you can, it has to do with your five senses, something you need to see, taste, smell, touch, or hear. And you, I would put an I or something, a letter I for imagery as I'm reading. And then... Find where it really shows you that too much of one thing isn't good. And I would write not good next to that. So those are the things you should be doing as you annotate this time. The other thing that you're going to want to do is as you are getting ready to write your objective summary today, you, naming it's easy, the title and the author is there. Verb it. Um, you need to find a verb that tells about or tells the story of what's going on in it. So you want a verb, that's something that happened in the story. You're going to mention the main characters, the setting, and the main thing that they did or what they went through. You're going to include important parts of the plot. Remember, and you've already marked those things, the, all the initial conflict, the climax, the resolutions, all those things you've already annotated. Make sure that you don't interpret anything in the story. Make sure that you don't put opinions because that's not what an objective summary is. For this, we're not concerned about you, how you feel about it, and we don't care about minor details. Um, so this should be five to six sentences. has to be written in your own words, and it doesn't have minor details. Okay? So if you have questions, I'm here to help, and I hope you enjoy doing this third reading of Christmas Every Day. Thanks.